Hi. <laughs> Hi booktube, I got a new camera, and I got a new shelf, and I have some tea, and it's been ages since we last chatted, so I figured the best way to get back into making videos is to just do it. So I figured I would sit down with you and my tea, and just have a little chat about, uh, about things and about life. Tell me how you are. I am so out of the loop, and I am so behind on everybody's videos, so please, please tell me how are things, how's your life, how's your exams, or your kids, or your mom, or whatever's happening. I don't know. I don't know your life. I hope that if you are in the middle of school exams that you're doing okay, and they're eating, and that you're sleeping. Well, you're probably not sleeping, but I hope you're eating and drinking lots of tea. I hope you're not sick. That's another, that's another thing. Basically, I haven't made videos in a long time for many, many reasons, but the biggest reason for this giant break is because I graduated school. I'm, I'm done forever with school. It's so weird. Like, it probably doesn't sound that monumental, but I've literally done nothing else in my entire memory of doing things. Like, I've always been in school. Ariel Bissett made a great video um, the other week about this, about how completely bizarre it feels to lose that student identity, that part of yourself, to suddenly be like, oh, I'm just, I'm just floating in the ether now. What? Who? What am I? What am I doing? And that's what everybody loves to ask me too, because apparently it's just this is the milestone. You graduate, you have an existential crisis, and then everyone tries to make it worse constantly by asking you what you're doing with the entire rest of your life. Like, I, I'm coming up with really creative ways to say I don't know, but like, I... I don't know. Oh god, it's terrifying, guys. It's a terrifying and wonderful place to be. But uh, yeah, now I finally have time to sit down and make videos again and the emotional capacity to do so. Because that was the other thing. Not only was I super, super busy with school, I mean, I was doing like a giant honors thesis, group thesis that took up all of my emotional energy, plus all my other classes, etc. But uh, I just wasn't reading. I am in the middle of like an epic slump. Like I don't really feel like I've ever been in a true reading slump before. Like I usually just go through phases, right, of like I'm in the mood to do reading for a while and then I'm just not. And I'm in the mood to do like watch TV or play video games. I go through that phase for a while. Eventually though I always keep coming back to reading. That just hasn't been happening recently. I have not finished a book in like, I don't know, probably six months or something. Who even knows? It's been forever. As soon as I graduated, I came back home and I got my fancy new shelves. I got excited to read again, kind of. And I sat down and started reading Mistborn again. I'd started it back in the winter and then I had just put it down because I was too busy. And it's so good. It's so good, but it's not dragging me back into the zone. Like nothing seems to be dragging me back into that reading zone. It, like I've never had that feeling before. So like this might be my first ever true slump and I'm not happy about it not happy about it at all. I feel like I can't just sit and enjoy the stuff that I want to enjoy. The other day when I went to go visit my friend, uh, my best friend Jess, I took the train to go to uh, Braintree. Being on the train, and this was the case definitely while I was abroad too and had to like be on public transportation a lot where you just have to like sit and there's nothing to do and nothing you better you could be doing. And those moments, sitting and reading for an hour, Primo. So good. I was able to just like relax with Mistborn and just chill and enjoy it and like in those couple of moments I was having a perfectly fine reading time. Then when I've come home, nada. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's a sad story. I have been enjoying a number of other things though while I haven't been reading. So it's not like I've been completely not consuming anything and not having any fun. I have been going through a number of obsessions since we last spoke. Like way back in November, uh, I got through like a total Undertale phase, so that t Undertale and Young Justice and Digimon of all things came like blasting from the past and hit me in the face in the feels and I've just, those things have been taking over my life. I started writing again, that's been fun. My roommates and I, I t sorry I just realized that sounds weird. My former roommates and I, oh I just made myself sad. The wonderful humans that I used to cohabitate in apartment with while I was still in school <laughs> and I were uh, we're all we've all been we've always been uh, writing together about various things like that's basically how we became friends as we were all writers and we started writing stuff together. We've all been getting into that again recently, which has been a lot of fun because I missed NaNoWriMo this past year and really I was super sad, super sad about that. So getting into like the writing groove and the planning groove again, I love planning. I love planning a little too much actually because then I never get out of the planning phase, but I love it. 
<laughs> so that's been fun. I've been seeing a lot of people doing a lot more writing stuff on booktube, so that's exciting. What else? What else? What else? I think that's pretty much it. I hope you like my new shelf setup though. I'm real excited about it. Maybe I'll show you a little bit in, in a little bit more detail if you would like me to. I haven't done like a bookshelf tour since I think last summer. It hasn't been like a super long time. It's not really a great need to do it, but if you want to see it, I would be happy to show you a little bit more of, of what's going on here. It's pretty much been, been my life <laughs> since we last spoke. If you have any job advice, please, <laughs> please help me. And I think that's really all I wanted to chat with you about. Let me know how your life's going. Let me know what you're reading. I always need more suggestions forever. These are almost all on read books, by the way, so it's not like I really need more ideas, but like, that's always welcome. My Goodreads list is like probably gonna end up reaching a thousand TBR someday. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I have a lifetime to read them also. <laughs> but yeah, it's been nice to chat with you guys again. Um, hopefully I'll be back with reviews again soon if I can get myself to finish a book. Maybe if I reread Nimona, where are you? Over there. Um, or something and then do a review. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll jumpstart it. I have been enjoying the graphic novels, so maybe that's all I need to do. I think all I finished this year is graphic novels, actually. Not that that's a bad thing, but... I'm rambling. Okay, bye! I'm gonna go edit this and make sure you see if it makes any sense. Okay, see ya next time. Oh, I didn't finish my tea. Okay, bye, for real, bye, bye, bye.